What's up, guys? So we're down here at the river today, and uh, hopefully we'll get to do a little fishing. They're calling for some thunderstorms. Looking a little cloudy. Got off work, threw some shorts on. I'm going to get down here and see if we can't catch a few. We may even try to do a little smallmouth fishing off the bridge for a second. Anyway, stick with me. We'll catch some fish. Thanks for watching. God bless you. Man, listen to those cicadas. So we got our annual 17 years cicada hatch. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but those suckers are loud. Matter of fact, I should catch some and fish with them. It's already starting to rain on us, so we haven't even started fishing yet. That's okay. The fish are already wet, so they don't care. That not a pretty river. Looks pretty good. Water looks good. I want to do a little wading, but depends on what the weather does. One thing you gotta worry about here is getting ran over. Man, that's a huge car up there. Oh, I got one, guys. I was looking at the truck and got one. Oh, can I get him up? this yes bridge fishing for smallmouth and it's a nice one come here buddy and hold still hold still there we go ah, look at that golly look at that sucker that's a pretty smallmouth look at that fat gut on him can y'all see that All right, thank you, baby. Not a huge one. Let's dip him in head first. Oh yeah, he took off. We had some a lot of rain there for a couple of days in a row. I didn't know how the water would look, but it actually looks great. Now I'm using a white three inch curly tail grub on a 3 8 ounce jig head and got a four pound line on and I recommend a good pair of polarized fishing glasses for this type of fishing too because I feel like there might be one sitting right in there somewhere Let's try the other side, guys. Oh, there's a fish on. I always let go of it. I had one swimming with it there for a second. Ooh, there's a guard. Y'all see that? Watch this. It's a bad deal right here, though. If he gets this, he's going to cut my line. There he goes. There he goes. He got Oh, he hit it. Y'all see that? That is so cool. He's still wanting it. Oh, shit. Let's go back out there at him. That's pretty cool. That's a good size one, too. Oh, there's a bunch of guard out there. Well, that's not good for my grub and they will surely break my line 
still pretty awesome to see though. A whole school of them out there. You probably can't see them on camera. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I see nine right there. That big one in the back, though, is the one I'm trying to entice. Oh, that comes a little one after it hard. Look at him. You guys see that? Oh, I got a mile after it now. Oh, that one got it. I got him. Oh. I had him. Good grief. Gar City down there, people. That was the big one. Oh, that's pretty awesome. Oh, look at that. Little sucker. Oh. I had him for a second. I got them little bony mouths with all those teeth, though. They're hard to catch. When you're smallmouth fishing, those gar can be aggravating, though. You guys, but hey, I like to catch anything that swims. It's going to hit. I'm going to try to get a hook in it. I want you to look at this little fighter. He's so, so, so little guy's so little I didn't even think I had him. Look at him. A bunch of little ones today. Ha. Bye bye, baby. There he goes. Get one in here, guys.
Oh, look, look. There's a little old gar sitting there, guys. Check this out. check my line after that that was cool see how black he was awesome color to that thing oh, oh man I had a fish right there hitting the day but I don't mind at all boy he's beat up look at him he's got scarred up something's got him a gar or a bigger bass or something to eat him up there on the side there he goes I got this time. Ha ha! A rock bass. Awesome. You know, I believe that is the first rock bass I have ever caught in this area right here. That is cool. Look at him. He's a little fat, chunky thing, too. Healthy little fish. There you go. There's another one. What have I got this time? It's another rock bass. Same size as the one I just let go. And man, he ate it. Good grief. Little red eyes on him. Ah. Come here, buddy. Ah. Oh, still, man. Golly, yeah, he... He didn't go for that thing. Ah. There he goes. Awesome. Thank you, Lord. Hey. We ain't exactly wearing them out. We sure ain't catching no big ones, but for a little quick trip after work, not bad at all. I'm having a blast. There we go. Oh, it feels like a little bit better fish right there. Maybe not. You can never tell about these things. My goodness. That is a big rock bass there. It's a nice one. Oh. I don't know. There he goes. Quick release. I'm using Cabela's Action Pill Series Pearl 3 inch.
There's one. Yes. All right. Good grief. Look how chunky that little thing is. Like they are eating good. I mean, he is just like a little football. Good grief. Let me get the hook out of his mouth. I want you guys to look at that. Little tiny fish. Look how... Look how fat he is. Look at the gut. What a pretty little fish. Thank you, Lord. Let him go. There he goes. <laughs> hey, folks. We're back. Thanks for watching the video. Now, uh, me and Noah here want to do another prize giveaway. We're just one under 300 subscribers. Thank you all so much. Love you guys. Appreciate all my subscribers. Noah wanted to do something special for the kids, so he said, hey, let's do a kid's giveaway. I said, that sounds like a great idea, Noah. And this little fella's getting restless. <laughs> but anyway, I'm going to set him down so he can take off, and then I'm going to show you what we got. Uh, or maybe he wants to help me. <laughs> so we got a tackle box, brand new, and it's got three... Fishing trays in it, already in there. And then, I thought this was pretty cool for the kids. A customizer, it's got three fishing lures in it. And you can buy paint pens for your kids and they can color it any color they want. If y'all know uh, what it's like to tie your own flies or make your own lures, when you make something yourself and catch a fish off of it, it's pretty awesome feeling. So I thought they'd like that, it'd be great for the kids. And then Noah just pulled this out of the bag. It's Panther Martin, the best of the best. Now these are great for kids to use. These lures are awesome. This color is awesome for trout. Matter of fact, I've got a trout fishing video where I use this exact same one and catch some big trout on it. This color is great for ponds. I've used it. This one I haven't used, but I'm sure it works just as well. So we got that thrown in there. What we got, Noah? What we got in there? We, I did this with kids in mind, so we got a pack of different size floaters. And then we've got, oh, thank you, Noah. Then we got this Eagle Claw kit here. It's got some little snap swivels. It's got uh, sinkers and different size hooks. It's everything they need to get started. Oh, and Noah, Noah pulled this out. Can I see that? Can I see that? And then this little old crankbait here. It's a little Bitsy Minnow Strike King crankbait. These things are killer in ponds. I've, kept, I've caught bass, crappie, bluegill. Now, we also got, thank you Noah, a pack of young white grubs there, three inch curly tail, and I think there's one more thing. Oh, two more things. Some jig heads, one eighth ounce to go with these. These are awesome for uh, smallmouth fishing in the river. You catch white bass, largemouth, smallmouth, everything. So that's pretty cool. And then the last thing we got is a Joe's fly. These will catch trout, bass, a little bit of everything. So anyway, that's it. There's a whole bunch of stuff there. It's like a probably $60, $65 value all together. And this is for kids. So all my kids subscribers out there, it's let's say 13 and under or any parents or uncles out there watching this or aunts. If you got a kid 13 or under, hey, just like this video, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and comment on the video, please. And you're in there. Thank you.